You need to strengthen that core to make sure you don't have back pain. Losing weight is a great way to get rid of back pain. Why do we have so much low back pain, 80% of the population? Because 60% of the population is fucking obese. I'ma post a lot and hope to God the motion. I believe I'm provoking is no facade. I'm poking art. The joke is the broke the guard to open an overflow with hopeless artists. I wanna flip the culture with flow the scar so distraught is close to the broken office. Only thought to show you the road to solve it. It's taking a little moment to show the problem. What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition. On our Facebook group, that is the Tiger Fitness group on Facebook, or click on the first link down below. I answer your questions. If I answer them, I send you a free tub of MTS Nutrition Whey Protein. Be sure to join our group, man. Five pound tub. This one comes from Jose A. Posse Francesca. I think that's how you say it. Jose, congratulations, you get a free tub away. Or if you're international, I just send you a gift card. Why? Because it costs a lot to ship international and I have budgets, man. I don't want the CFO getting all mad at the CEO. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. We're talking about abs today. Talking about abs. Okay, dot, dot, dot. I heard everything about this. Obviously you did it because <coughs> you're asking me. I'm getting all choked up at the fact you wanted to ask me this. When people are obese, some people say don't do ab workouts. They say it's a waste of time. They say you have to burn the fat first, then do abs. And other ones say, I'm guessing there's a language barrier, so I will be sending you a gift card, that it doesn't matter, you can still do abs. That way when you get leaner, you're gonna start seeing them. What do you think about this, Mark? First of all, ab training should be for more than just muscle. It's about health and function. Think about it, over 80% of adults have low back pain. That's not, oh, it used to be tight hamstrings. Mm, that could be it. But I'm guaranteeing you it's due to weak ass core muscles. So with core training, deadlifts, wall facing deadlifts, goblet squats, squats, overhead pressing, you wanna work your abs, lift some heavy ass weight over your head. That'll work your core. With core strength comes abs. As you build that core, your abs will work. Your abs will work and they will have hypertrophy, building stronger abs. So thing is, if you're fat as shit, doesn't matter. The fact that you're fat, your waist is, your abs, your belly fat is pooling against your spine. That's gonna cause some core issues. You need to strengthen that core to make sure you don't have back pain. Losing weight is a great way to get rid of back pain. Why do we have so much low back pain, 80% of the population? Because 60% of the population is fucking obese. So here's what I'm saying, guys. Here's what I'm saying. Lose fat, that's absolute. But you should train core, not just to see a six pack. At the end of the day, if you're obese with loose skin and the fact you got obese in the first place, I'm just being realistic, I don't wanna kill anybody's goals, but getting a flat stomach should be your goal. You're probably not gonna have a chiseled six pack like myself, Mike Rashid, or someone who's been doing this their entire life. Okay, aim for a flat stomach to be healthy and to not fucking die of obesity-related causes when you're older. But, of course, you do need to train abs, you need to train your core for overall health and wellness, and guess what? If you do get down to that body fat level that allows you to see your abs, that core training will provide you the stimulus to provide the hypertrophy so your abs are out there to show. To get abs, you gotta be below 10% body fat. For some people, below eight. For some people, below 12. It depends on the person where you store your fat. But at the end of the day, man, you need to train core for health. For more info on a good diet to lose that fat, go to dropfactorbook.com. That's www.dropfactorbook.com. I wrote that shit. It even has a workout and cardio recommendations in it. Be sure to watch it. Subscribe to this channel. Like like this video and of course click on that motherfucking bell and that's not a game.